Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I have my little helpers here today. We're going to be using the Skinny Medic Response Kit. This is a new kit we've come out with. And one of the items in this kit is an aluminum splint that you can use for ankles, leg fractures, arms, things like that. It's like a SAM splint, it's just a different name brand. Uh, it comes with a code band as well. But I'm going to show you how you can use it to splint an ankle. Alright, so this is the aluminum split we were talking about. It comes in a nice big package. This can be folded out and then you have to have some way of course of attaching this to the extremity. So this is your coband. You can use a triangle bandage tape, but this is all is one nice big package. Alright, of course in this demonstration, his foot, and obviously this is made for an adult, but this is my only helper I could find today. But we're going to pretend like it's in an inline neutral position, so this is where his natural foot is. Now sometimes when the ankle gets dislocated or fractured, it's going to rotate in weird angles. So we're going to just, for simple demonstration of the splint, we're just going to say the ankle is here in its natural position. Of course you'd want to check pulse motor sensory, make sure he can still feel you down here, and then uh, make sure he can feel you, make sure he can move his toes, and then of course you still want to check make sure he has a pulse. That's the important thing before you go to put any type of splint on. So this splint here comes in a nice little roll and then you can unfold it like this and it's pretty flimsy like this but the more turns you put, more bends you put into it, the stiffer it will become. So all right, there's, there's two different ways you can see demonstrated how to splint the ankle like this. One way is just to make a complete U-shape with the splint. And then we can bend it here and we can secure it. Now this part, because this little guy is so small, it actually will get the knee really good doing it this way. And it keeps the ankle from bending. Now in adults, you may find this splint actually only comes up to about right here. So, But you really want to try to get the knee. So what you can do as well is actually bend it up kind of like this that gives you secure the ankle here comes up a little bit higher so you can secure it and if you have to you can secure the legs together the main thing we want is not the ankle not to move so if you put the splint here like this then that keeps the ankle from moving back and forth and we just have to keep the ankle secure side to side so this is where the ankle is going to come into place and then we can secure the splint here and that will stop her ankle from moving side to side and front to back. Back up, baby. So, lift your foot up, by. There we go. So if we're going to secure his ankle, So you secure the ankle here from moving back and forth, side to side. If you had a towel roll, you could also put a towel in here in the ankle. So come up and you secure it here. This secures the splint. Here's the knee. So you could also come in and put some cravat, some cling to this to help secure the knee. And this is where I was talking about bending it here. And that's going to make the actual aluminum splint more rigid. Alright, so demonstrating the other way too is just simply making a U-shape here. Slide the ankle in. Of course, we've already checked pulse motor sensory. You come in and you can secure it. Now, it's best to try to do a figure eight around the ankle to try to secure it. So we're going to wrap around the knee. To help secure the top of the splint. And then come down and help secure the bottom of the splint. All 
Getting a little closer look here, you, you want to recheck pulse motor sensory after you have the splint in place. So you can do cap refill. You see there, it's got good return. Will your toes for me, bud? You feel me touching you down here? Yeah. And you can also check his pulse running around the top of the ridge of the foot. He should have a great pulse, which he does. So after you get the splint in place, then you would recheck pulse motor sensory. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear, the right training, and of course, it always helps to be at the right time. I look horrible.